partition data joins aren't strictly an analytic function, but they're in the same chapter, so we thought we'd cover them. They're really cool because they can make some problems which conceptually seem easy but are hard to solve in SQL actually quite easy to solve with simple SQL. Enjoy the video. It's designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In today's session, we're going to talk about more bits and pieces, stuff that you'll find in chapter 18 in the Data Warehousing Guide for 12C, which isn't precisely in analytics. The things that we see at the end of the chapter, for example, the partition join syntax you can see there under data densification. So what we're talking about is the partitioned outer join. Let's have a look at an example where this could come into play. Let's say you build a beautiful new meeting room, a conference room with beautiful glass windows, lovely furniture as you can see there. What's the first thing that happens? Everyone in your department wants to use that conference room for their meetings and very quickly you've got a bit of a disaster. So what you might choose to do is write yourself a little application to allow people to book the room. You might start off with a table of hours that people are allowed to use the room between and shortly after you've built your application, the first bookings will come in our bookings table. And so you can see at 8 o'clock, Pete booked room number 2, at 9 o'clock, John booked room number 1, and so forth. When I want to examine the bookings on a day-to-day -day basis, let's have a look at the bookings by hour. That's pretty easy. That's just a conventional out of join. That's a query we can run that we've known forever. We simply do an out of join from the hours to the bookings table because the hours is dense and the bookings is sparse. And there we can see from hour 8 to 16, there are the various bookings. Nice and simple, and we can see that the rooms are free from 10 and 12 and 1 p.m. What about, though, the more challenging aspect of room occupancy? That is, what we're trying to see is that same information, but on a room-by-room -room basis. We've only got one bookings table, but we'd like to see what's the details in room 1, and we can see Sally's got it there from 10.30, etc. And we also want, as a separate report, or separate data, being able to see what's in room two. But don't forget, all that information is in one table. What we want to do is group the data by room and then effectively do an outer join on each of those groups. But that's hard because we don't know, based on the bookings, the number of distinct rooms, unless we had a rooms table. But even then, not all of them might be in use. That's where a partitioned outer join comes in very, very useful. And the syntax is very easy. Here I'm doing a select from my bookings table I do a partition by and then the column I'm interested in doing the grouping on. Once I've done that, I use a conventional out of join syntax to do the join. What's my result? You can see I get hours 8 to 16 for room 1 and then the hours repeated again for room 2. In fact, I'll get that for each distinct room in the bookings table. I didn't have to work out the number of distinct rooms, it just did it for me. You can run these scripts yourself by clicking on the live SQL link below. In the next session, the last few bits and pieces from chapter 18. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.